if I were a bird. This is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine that keeps the book together. When we read the book, we turn the pages this way, slowly and gently. If I were a bird, I'd have a big, colorful beak. Look at this big, colorful beak, friends. We have green and red and blue and purple and some black and a little bit of yellow or white. This is definitely yellow on his breast, friends. And look at this black, black, black on his back. I think that's a toucan. Or I might be a bird who knows how to speak. <gasps> These birdies can say, hello, how are you? I love you. Will you play with me? <gasps> they make very good pets, friends. <gasps> Look at this little bird. We have to zoom in. <gasps> Look, this bird is so small, it almost fits on this flower. This is called a hummingbird. <gasps> Maybe I'd be tiny. Tiny it is. And hover in the sky. Oh, <gasps> This bird. Look at his wings, friends. They're flapping so fast. They're vibrating. And he just hovers right there beside the flower. He doesn't move forward and he doesn't move back. He just hovers. That's how the hummingbird gets around. Look at this penguin. Does a penguin fly, friends? <gasps> I could be a bird that does not fly. This hummingbird hovers, and this penguin, he goes swimming with his fins, friends. He does not fly. What other birds don't fly? We have ostriches don't fly, and chickens don't fly, or they don't fly very far, friends. They can flutter their wings, but they're not really flyers. <gasps> I'd sit on my nest and wait for my eggs to hatch. Look at these little eggs in the nest, friends. Look at this nest the mommy made. She used twigs and some feathers and all different things to make this nest. And she put her little eggs in there and look, oh, she's sitting on top of them to keep them warm and she's, oh, She's warning everybody, look at this. She's got her beak open and she says, ah, ah. Her feathers are all riled up. She says, stay away from my eggs. They're not ready. They need to hatch. <gasps> then when the babies hatch, I would feed my babies the morning's catch. <gasps> look at this, mommy went out and found some worms, friends. She's gonna give those yummy grubs to these little babies. Look at their big, big mouths. Those mouths are so big. They're about as big as these heads. Look at these little heads and these big mouths. They are so hungry, friends. They're ready to eat worms. Can you imagine? Look at this. Maybe I'd be a bird who is pink and pretty. This bird, it's got a long, graceful neck, just like a swan, but oh, is this a swan, friends? Does that look like a swan's beak? A swan has a straight black beak. This is a bent beak with white and pink and black. This is a flamingo, friends. Look at this bird. We know this bird. This is a pigeon, friends. It lives in the city. What city do you think this is? Do you think this is New York or Philadelphia? Who knows? It could be very close to us, friends. Look at these birds. These birds are close to us. We see these all the time in the Hudson River. These are ducks swimming in the water and some geese. Look at these geese flying with their long necks. And look, they're forming up their V, friends. They're making a V so they can migrate to the south. I'd like to be a bird who flies 
toward the sun. <gasps> Look, they're all flying south for the winter, friends. They'll come back. And oh, look at these two. It's the mama owl and the baby owl. And they say, oh, who, who, who is awake after curfew? Go to bed, friends. It's the nighttime. Only the nocturnal birds are awake. The end.